So this poem is called The Kaleidoscope um, by a Scottish poet called Douglas Dunn, who wrote a collection of poems um, dedicated to his first wife, who died quite young, very sadly, um, from cancer. And he wrote this collection called Elegies, and um, this is my sort of favourite one from the collection. To climb these stairs again, bearing a tray, might be to find you pillowed with your books, your inventories listing gowns and frocks as if preparing for a holiday. Or turning from the landing, I might find my presence watched through your kaleidoscope, a symmetry of husbands, each redesigned in lovely forms of foresight, prayer and hope. I climb these stairs a dozen times a day and by the open door wait, looking in at where you died. My hands become a tray, offering me, my flesh, my soul, my skin. Grief wrongs us so. I stand and wait and cry for the absurd forgiveness, not knowing why. So, um, poem always moves me, um, every time I read it. And I think what moves me most is the rhythms of it. I think um, I'm obsessed with the rhythms of language and I think that rhythm has a way of reflecting our internal lives, which communicates feeling in a way we don't even understand. It bypasses reason and intellect and thought even, and um, chimes in us in, in ways that <coughs> move us sort of viscerally instinctively, like music, only it's with language, um, but in much the same way as music does. Uh, his rhythms are so exquisite, the, that, that sense of... He, he, the first eight lines have this sort of heavy tread up the staircase that he's describing himself doing, and then as the poem goes on, feelings start to spool out of him and then he, as, he, as he cries, and then there's wonderful monosyllables, um, which are always so powerful, offering me my flesh, my soul, my skin, all monosyllables, which I always think are so powerful. They're like heartbeats or drum beats. Um, Shakespeare uses them brilliantly, um, often when characters are at their most um, <clears throat> intensely full of grief, they speak in monosyllables, um, as though they can't manage more than that. Anyway, um, yeah, for many reasons, I love the poem. And I love the sort of domesticity of it too, that um, she's making lists of all the things that she's going to give to friends when, she, when she's dead, I suppose. So that sort of attempt at practicality and optimism in the face of the inevitable, which fails to stave off the, 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 um, the death they know is coming to her, is also so moving. Um, yeah a tiny fragment in a domestic life, but it's sort of also epic in its way.